Hi, Tom Tucker here in sunny Glendora, Southern California. I'm going to go over a few things on a 427 Ford FE motor, side oiler, that uh, more of the, the trouble spots than the regular uh, GoPro type YouTube uh, things that you see. So anyway, just a, a little background. Um, just finished the Mustang 428 FE motor uh, about six, seven months ago. Uh, and then this is my hot rod over here that I've had since I was 16 years old, which is about 50 years ago. In fact, uh, here's some pictures of racing at Irwindale Drag Strip uh, back in the late 60s and early 70s. And then at the new Irwindale Drag Strip, uh, currently, uh, you know, this year, last year, the last three or four years. So, um, uh, that's that. Um, I kind of laugh because uh, my race car is a Ranchero 57. So I don't know what guys do with all their engine parts when they're trying to uh, rebuild their engines. Uh, Krager a special manifold to uh, let me run the 671 blower with Hillborn injection. All mechanical, all old school. And uh, bare block motor heads uh, have been cc'd to get up around that 360 uh, cfm airflow on the intakes and uh, excuse the noise i'm live on a busy street across from a church and a lot of traffic it's uh, october 27th probably going to be 85 today beautiful day uh, back to the engine part okay sorry about all the extra stuff uh, one thing I wanted to mention, the, the side oilers, I think all you FE guys know that they have the, the special um, passage that the oil comes from the uh, pickup tube, oil pump, and then down this passage that feeds uh, in between the cam bearing and the main bearings. Okay, I had to pull this engine back out because the machine shop installed the cam bearings wrong, didn't line up the holes, and then one hole feeds uh, the passenger side off the fourth journal of the cam. The other uh, feeds the uh, driver's side up to the rocker arms uh, through the second journal in the cam. One thing I'm going to mention to you, when you have all the plugs out in the engine, and there's a lot of them, three here, oh gosh, probably another, oh gosh, one, there's one in here, two or three on the front, another one here on the back, you have several that surround um, the uh, camshaft uh, that uh, Ford has in there. And so anyway, all of them are pipe plugs, uh, except for the bigger ones that run the, the uh, side oiler oil passage. The bottom one, regular threads. The top one that I just took out, not pipe thread, so be careful, don't try to do it. Ford even has a funny little recessed area inside the uh, where the Allen wrench goes. And then um, also watch when you put this in. The plunger goes in first when you're installing it, okay? And um, let me grab a magnet that's behind me. Okay. And when you, um, the, the spring goes in first, here it comes. Okay, and there goes my uh, Allen head that I put inside the spring. That's not from Ford, that's me doing it. A lot of the Ford guys do that um, to gain a little more spring pressure so that it won't relieve down into the oil pan when the oil pressure gets high. It doesn't relieve quite as quick. So bottom line is put the spring in first Okay, and I put the Allen head in, in first, the Allen bolt. Be sure it's not too long because you want to be able to, to have that spring compressed. So anyway, that goes in first. Second, your relief valve with the stem out. Okay, and then lastly, the plug that's not Allen threads. Okay, I won't put it in now because it's hard to do one-handed. Okay, a couple other things. I'm going to spin this over. Hopefully that relief valve doesn't fall out. Um, before I do, um, I'm in the process of uh, 
putting the uh, main bearings. I plastic gauge them just to double check the machine shop did the clearances right. Um, uh, good luck on your seals on the rear. I've done it once and I'm not happy with the way they look. This one's recessed a little too far in. I'm gonna pull it back out and make sure that it looks okay. Put another new one in. You'll see videos on that and uh, those rear mains, they're, they're a pain. Okay, let me spin this over. Hopefully I can do it one-handed. Yes. And um, uh, there we go. Hope this uh, not too close. One thing I like to do, I, I don't see any other guys online or in all the magazines on FE Motors, is Ford, um, oh gosh, intake manifolds have a tendency to leak oil uh, along the front here. I relieve all four corners because the heads drain the oil and then hit a flat spot here and then they have a tendency to leak out the front of the engine so anyway relieve here relieve here do the same on the rear the heads drain down to this spot so re relieve these it just helps get the oil out away from where they leak past these end gaskets or whatever uh, silicone stuff you use to seal them up so let's see that's about it no one more thing one more thing okay the uh the cam um the, the the gear gear sprockets for the camshaft the gear sets a lot of guys which i did too went to a special one rollers here make sure that the this thickness right here has to be a couple thousands thicker than the plate that holds the cam in okay if it isn't, then your cam's uh, not really going to move very well. So put the plate on and also watch for clearance on these round-headed Allen bolts too. It's important because you don't want them hitting the back of the, the gear here and, and then it, the cam won't turn. So I have kind of a, a bolt here that's not the one I'm going to use. Put it in and uh, tighten it up. And, and as the bottom line is as long as you can tighten it up, which I'm trying to do this so the video is not too long by hand and normally I would snug it a lot tighter than this but that did go I think it's pulling the cam forward right now there we go that's bottomed out and uh, and I've already tried this with it tighter than that with the with the racket but as long as this turns and you have a tiny bit of clearance but watch for your clearance on those two um, rounded allen bolts and then make sure that this turns freely okay uh, i think that's it there's quite a few other things i was gonna do but uh, that's kind of the trouble spots and again on those plugs pipe thread pipe thread pipe thread and there's a hidden one probably hard to see i'll back up i got a flashlight hanging here there's a hidden one you can see it down on the back side the distributor goes in there but there's a there's a pipe uh, plug pipe thread a plug there where Ford drilled through all of the lifter passages to get for the hydraulics to get oil make sure that plugs in there you get to it when the gears off that hole right in front you can get to it so that's it anyway uh, have fun building your motors. Those are some trouble spots that I ran into. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One more important thing. I mentioned that I had to pull the block back out because the cam bearings weren't in right. Okay, on Ford's passenger side, the oil comes up through this hole out down, you know, above the, the uh, cam bearing or below the cam bearing, up this hole, up the uh, head bolt, and then over and then uh, through the rocker arm shaft bolt that hole and hit on the second journal of the cam this hole on the on the driver's side make sure that you take with the uh, cam not installed yet my cams in there make sure that uh, some type of wire this one's 65 thousandths can go through the cam bearing and into the, the area where the cam would be. Same on both sides, you, you gotta have that. I didn't have that on the passenger side, the fourth journal back, okay? So no oil was getting to the right side rockers and it's not an easy fix. You gotta pull the whole motor out, strip it completely down, cam out, 
crank out everything and have new cam bearings put in but they the holes were not aligned up to let oil go through there and also watch the grooves in the cam there has to be a groove on the second journal of the camshaft and the fourth journal of the camshaft that also allows the oil to get up to the rockers and I'm gonna put the pan on after I get everything in pistons and everything and I'm gonna before I put the motor in the car this time I'm gonna put a, a 3 8 air ratchet down in there drive the oil pump and make sure that oil comes up those two holes and then put the heads on and I'm gonna do it again make sure everything works well okay signing off thank you uh, have a good day